everyone, this is Julia from Adventure Geek and today I'm going to be talking about my brand new Tarp Tent Notch Li. Uh, just to let you know, I've just got back from walking a, uh, I think it was 96 miles, it was probably more than that with the backwards and frame from the different campsites and stuff. Um, but wild camping along the West Highland Way, uh, which is in Bonnie, Scotland. It's along Loch Lomond and up through the mountains. It was absolutely awesome. Videos will be coming soon. But how did this tent hold out? Stay tuned and I'll let you know. According to plan, next door neighbour have decided to have a loft conversion and all the builders have just turned up. But I need to crack on with this video, so I'm back inside. Um, but I'll do some close shots of the tent as I'm talking about things as well as a little bit of B-roll. So I've got 16 likes, so let's start with the likes. So like number one is the obvious one, it's the weight. So um, according to Tarp Tent on their website, uh, the weight of this pack with the half mesh and half solid interior, which is what I wanted, um, comes to 603 grams. That includes the pegs and the basket, uh, sorry, and the, the cover as well, or the stuff sack, I should say. But um, obviously when you've gone through all these likes and dislikes, you'll realize I actually had to include some extra pegs. Um, so I'll put the total weight of the pack or of the whole tent, including everything I'm taking with the extra guy ropes and stuff like that, I'll put that on the screen right now. So that's number one, which is the weight. Number two is the two vestibules. I was looking for, I was looking at the Lanshan One Pro, only has one vestibule. So the Notch Li comes with two vestibules and they're plenty roomy as well. Um, when you've been doing a, a bit of a through hike, you know, even three or four days in, I've got everything sort of nailed, what went where and when, um, even in the pockets and stuff like that, which I'll come on to in a bit. But the two vestibules kept me super organized, kept my stuff very, very dry and they're top notch. So two vestibules on a one person tent is frigging awesome. Love it. Number three. I wanted something where the inner and the outer pitched together and it pitched up super, super fast. So just with four pegs or four stakes, you can pitch this up within three minutes. Um, that's me doing it as well within three minutes. So it's super fast, super easy to, to pitch as you've just seen. Right, number four, um, at the end where the struts are at the end, there's some Velcro and you can undo the Velcro um, and it's, you can put it back as a, um, you can put it back so you've got extra ventilation and that's on both sides. Um, but also I found it's a great little extra storage area, so they're like mini vestibules. So I ended up putting my uh, tent bag in there with my peg bag and also my dry sacks and you can reach it from inside as well, which is super handy. Uh, so it doesn't take up space actually inside the real estate of where you're actually sleeping or you know, in the vestibules itself where they're gonna fly away because um, you can obviously Velcro them up and they're nice and safe and sound and secure. So love that, that's number four. Right, so number five is inside to have these internal clips. You've just got one clip on one side, one clip on the other. My previous tents, so I've got two Lanshan 2s, so I've just taken one of the um, hooks out of those and I've made up like a little mini washing line. But really good for plugging you know, your headlamp in or a little, a little torch or something like that. But also good, especially when you're doing a through hike in Scotland, is it's a great place to hang your dry clothes. So that's number five. One thing I like about it is the washing line capabilities and it will hang up you know, at least a full jumper and uh, a few socks and knickers and stuff like that for me. Number six is uh, ventilation. Oh my God, this tent is awesome for ventilation. So you've got vents everywhere. You've just seen the two end struts that you have and you can open those up for extra vents. Uh, the doors have two-way zippers, so not only do they zip up that way, they also zip down as well. So you can actually cook inside and let the steam go out for ventilation. And at the very top, they've got these curved sections as well where you can um, sort of let extra air in that way. So ventilation was great. Uh, same with condensation, so I had no problems with 
condensation compared to my Lanshan where even in Lanshan 2 um, I'd wake up to sort of some drips on me and stuff like that so yeah absolutely awesome for ventilation so that's number six is ventilation number seven is these storm zips really easy to use as well if you struggle with um, cold fingers and you're like i do um, so they zip up and down really easy i never had one catch on me at all uh, in the whole of the through hike um, and they open up both ways they're actually storm zippers as well so water won't get in and that's on both sides so yeah absolutely love the zippers well done tarp tent i, I love that process and that feature Right, number eight is my favourite feature of the whole of the tent and it's the magnetic doors. Why have people haven't thought of it before? I don't know. And I don't know if Tarp Tent have got it patented or whatever, um, but on both vestibules, literally, you just take the, the door and you just Done. and it's really strong as well I never had one come undone and believe you me it did get windy in some of the some of the times as well so yeah absolutely love the magnetic doors well done tarp tent I think that's a fantastic feature Number nine is the build quality. So the build quality as in the stitching, I've got no frays anywhere of any threads. I've got nothing that's come undone. Um, and I did put it through a bit of a battering over a hundred miles. Um, so yeah, the quality of the stitching is good. And so the quality of those zips are second to none as well. So the build quality overall, I think it's fantastic. The way that they've done the extra enhancements in certain areas where you've got pressure points within the tent, set certainly with inside I just think is, is friggin brilliant so yeah uh, the quality of this build you can see where your money's gone on not just on the quality of the material but the quality of the build as well so yeah fantastic that's number nine Number 10, it is the interior. So I know a lot of people just like the pure mesh. Uh, I like it half and half, mainly because I like a little bit of privacy as well. So you've got this half mesh, uh, half solid and then half mesh. The solid is really thin as well, but it just gives you that extra little bit of wind protection as well as privacy. Um, so I love that. I love it where it's just just the right size as well, so you can see out and you've got a bit of a panoramic, panoramic view. I can't say those words today. Um, but yeah, the half and half I think is great. I've got a, a four season tent with a Lanshan and a three season tent and one's all mesh, one's all solid. Um, so to have the hybrid as in half and half, why are people not doing that? I just think that's awesome. So yeah, keep saying the word awesome. Sorry, must stop that. Right, we're getting through these now. So number 11 is on the interior, you've got obviously the solid mesh, but they've got the same material in like a diamond shape across the top. Um, and I must admit that just stopped any additional condensation. So if there was any possibility of condensation dripping from the fly, it goes on to that solid mesh rather, solid mesh? That, that solid piece of material rather than mesh. So it would never drip through even if it did condensate. So uh, yeah, I think that's just ingenious. It's a very, very clever tent this is. Number 12. Number 12 is perhaps just me being lazy, um, but I love the Dyneema product because once you've pitched it and it's pitched tight, it sort of stays like that. Unlike the Lanshan, uh, because it's still nylon, it sags if it's raining, so you have to get out, especially when it's raining, and just retighten everything up to make sure that you've got a peaceful night. But it's peace of mind knowing that once it's pitched, it's pitched, done and dusted, kippers and custard, so they say. So yeah, love the way that the Dyneema works. I've never had a Dyneema tent before. Um, so, so far, so good. So number 13 is, again, probably me being lazy, but I love the way that the, the Dyneema, staying on the theme of Dyneema, I love the way it dries so quick. So I have a little chamois leather. I'll just go through the tent very quickly in the morning, just chamois it off. I maybe go around twice, ring the chamois out, uh, give it a bit of a shake and that's it, I'm good to go, roll it up and it's good to go. The good thing about Dyneema, it doesn't hold or seep into the, um, into the fabric like it does with silk nylon, therefore you're not carrying extra weight by carrying that water with you when it's in your pack. So fast drying, fantastic, brilliant. So number 14 is that you can actually adjust the bathtub um, from outside, it's got adjustments. 
I know I really shouldn't compare it to the Lanshan, but with the Lanshan, you've just got elastic uh, that you stick over the pegs and that's it, you're good to go. There's no adjustment there at all. Uh, but with this tent, you've got all sorts of adjustments that you can do to make it wider or make it thinner, uh, depending on your needs. So yeah, I love that as well. You've got the little adjustments of the bathtub and it actually goes quite high, that bathtub does as well. So it protects you again from any sort of splashbacks that you have from outside. So the bathtub rocks. Number 15, it has two, yes, two internal pockets, unlike, and actually not on the doors, unlike, again, sorry to say, but my Lanshan has one pocket, the, the new Lanshan that I've got, the four season one, and it was literally just lying on the floor, these pockets, so, you know, what's the point of that? You might as well just put stuff in a stuff, a stuff sack. Uh, but these actually have proper pockets that are on the side, uh, and you've got one on each side as well, so, yeah, super handy. Two pockets, yay! And my last like is the way that it packs away. So I know I've seen some videos where people have been having trouble uh, with packing it away, but I haven't had any problems at all. Um, so I don't know, I literally, I just fold mine in, in half, put the two end struts together uh, and roll it up that way. That fits in as well as the poles that I've got as well. They fit into the pack as well as the tent pegs. It all fits into the stuff sack really super easy. Now I suffer with my hands. So for me, it was important that things went in nice and easy. So I will do a very quick um, like section of the video right at the end, just to, a bit of a time lapse to show you how easy it is to put away. And you can see that I don't struggle with it at all. So yeah, that's my last like is, uh, yeah, packing it away nice and easy, superb. So I've just gone through 16 things why I absolutely love this tent, but let's go through uh, the additional 10 things that I perhaps don't like so much about it. Thank you.